Hey everyone, it's me Molly and today I am going to be talking about Big Little Week. So I had to actually restart this vlog because I lost the footage when I like first started shopping for my little a few weeks ago. So when I flash forward to bits of me shopping for my little, um, it was because I thought I still had this footage. but. It's gone. I airdropped it to my computer and it went missing. So things happen. So I thought I'd just like finally sit down and actually like talk about it all the way through to give you guys more of a preface into this vlog. Um, so my name is Molly and I'm in Delta Zeta, Zeta Beta chapter sorority. And I go to the University of Wisconsin Stout and I have a really big big little family. I just joined last year in the fall. I went through formal recruitment and I joined a sorority because I just knew I always wanted to and I was actually a legacy through Alpha Phi at this exact school through my aunt Lita but then I like found Delta Zeta and it was just the fit for me so I'm so thankful for all of my sisters and like the experiences I've been able to gain um, through being in a sorority and I love our philanthropy which is the Painted Turtle Camp and Starkey Hearing Foundation um, so we raise money to help people get hearing aids in other countries, which is really awesome. And I'm just, honestly, I could talk about my sorority all the time, but I am going to digress and talk more about Big Little. So I already do have a little, her name is Sydney, and I got her as my first semester as an active. So I kind of jumped right in because I knew that I wanted a little, and I knew that I was graduating this coming spring. So I was like, I need to get one now or next semester. So. I happened to get Sydney and I love her. We have a lot in common, um, which is obviously really good for that relationship. And I'm sorry if I'm like looking outside. There's, I live right across the street from like a grocery store and it is very busy right now. So I apologize if you hear a lot of cars or if I get like sidetracked. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. And I applied this semester for another little since I do have the rest of this year to guide her through her first couple of months as a new member and to being an active in our sorority. So I was really excited to apply for one again and I got this girl named Cora and I'm so excited. She is a lovely young lady and I am so excited to get to know her better throughout our relationship as big and little and I'm excited for her to be a part of our family as well. A lot of people say that we're a good match just as they did with Sydney as well because Sydney and I have a lot in common like I said and everyone says that I'm a lot like Cora so I think that's really cool or that she's a lot like me vice versa. So I have had so much fun shopping for her the past couple of weeks. In the fall, we happen to get a bit more time to shop for our littles compared to the springtime. I literally had spring break to buy my littles things last semester, so I was really thankful that I had way more time. And I wish I filmed when I got the call, but it's okay. Basically, I'll paint the setting for you. I was driving home from Eau Claire, and I got a call from the new member educator, Taylor, and she's like, would you want to be Cora's big? And I was like, um, yes. So, um, um, that's basically what happened and I am so excited and I already gave her her first basket yesterday at study hours and they came and um, she was obsessed with the candle that I gave her and she was already using a face mask and dug into the snacks I got her yesterday so I'm really excited <laughs> that she liked that stuff because I did good um, makes me feel more secure in the things that I got her you know so I think I have footage of that basket so I'll insert that right after this. Hey everyone, so this is Cora's first basket. Um, for our sorority, their first basket is typically all their favorite things. Um, and so I got these little metal like crates at um, three for $15 at Home Goods. So Home Goods is one of the best places to look if you are not getting like hand-me-down baskets or anything like that. But I think that these will kind of like you know it's a pretty basic color it's gray and i think it will fit any theme in her room if she decides to use them in her room and then for her name i just used this black sparkly vinyl that i got actually 
the dollar spot target and i've had this stuff for a while because i love to craft so i always hold on to things like that and then i just taped it onto some twine and i don't know i feel like this is her kind of style so i'm excited um, i'm probably gonna rework this tissue because don't mind like my pajamas are like right there and also my like laundry rip um anyways so I kind of, one of her themes of choice was spa um, slash space, so I decided to roll with both and I'm actually going to linger the spa theme throughout all the baskets, but actually stick with the space theme for our reveal and I'll show you guys the shirts that my big made me for reveal when I get those but basically I just recycled a candle holder for some Epsom salt it's like lavender scented I'm gonna put like a label on it so she's like what is that I'm actually gonna like label it so she knows what that is um, which I know she's really smart but I don't want it to be like what the heck is that and then I got her a candle and this is from home goods and I try to get the sticker off the best I can. I'm gonna keep working at it, but and I might move stuff around, but I kind of like how that looks. I don't want to take it all apart. But I got her kind of like miniatures of all of her favorite snacks because then it's kind of like a little taste test of everything. So I got her like a mini goldfish, I got her Doritos, I got her some popcorn, Snickers, her favorite candy bar, Reese's pieces. And then I got her her favorite drink, which is apple juice, and she also likes Sprite or CRMS, so I got her that. And then I got her some face masks, which these are from Five Below. Um, you can get five for five, so that's a really good deal. I'm going to spread those throughout her baskets. And I got her this um, carrot, 24 carat gold lip mask, also from Five Below. And then a head massager, which is from the dollar store. I love these things and I got one for Christmas one year for my sister and I use it like all the time. I think it's just like relaxing. But that's basically it. I'm gonna add her card and again I'll probably re-figure out her tissue because I don't really love it. I feel like it's kind of boring. But right now this is everything and it kind of feels like it's not a lot, but I think it's like it is a lot at the same time. I don't know. As a big I'll flip it onto me. <laughs> as a big, it can be scary like buying stuff for your little because you're trying to like impress them and get them all their favorite things but like at the end of the day you have to know that like they're gonna love you for who you are and something really cute she put on her like wish list was that she's like i'm gonna love whatever you do and i thought that was so sweet because i think that's kind of like comforting especially as a big like you're buying all these things it can be really scary and personally i love buying gifts for people so i've had a lot of fun making her baskets and i'll kind of sneak peek the other ones but i still have a lot to do for those two and our new member educator asks for a picture of the basket 24 hours before we give it to them because she wants to make sure that we're not spending too much there's budgets for each basket which I actually really like because I I actually followed it pretty well I might have gone like a few dollars over but it's not that bad but I'm going to probably refigure it out and then when I'm actually going to drop it off tomorrow at study hours I will show you guys it's last little thing and then if she happens to post about it um the new member educator always sends us a picture of her social media post so i'll put that in here as well so you guys can see that but otherwise i'm so excited i can't believe it's already here it's been a few weeks in the making so i'm really really excited and tonight we have chapter so i'm kind of dressed for that i just have to fix my hair and that's that i'll see you in the next piece of the vlog Welcome back! So you saw her first basket and her um, Snapchat and Instagram reactions to her first basket and I thought it was so sweet she posted about it on Instagram and on her Snapchat so I was like <laughs> I did good. I'm trying to think of what else I want to cover. Basically Big Little Week is where we get a little and we buy them three baskets full of stuff. I think each story does things a bit differently but it's typically three to maybe four baskets but um for our sorority it's three and i'm going to show you her second basket this is her second basket her a on her name fell off i have it right here i just need to re-glue it slash tape it but um i'll do a little now that even fell off so i need to fix that i'm going to do a further in-depth 
a walkthrough of what's in her basket in just a second. Hey everyone, so I'm heading to good old Wally World to get Cora a few last minute things for her baskets. So last night she loved her baskets, um, or basket, um, and I was really, really excited. And, and like seeing my first little react to her basket last semester when I got Sydney, like, I mean, everyone reacts differently, but I was, like, so nervous, so I wasn't, like, paying full on attention to, like, what Sydney was saying, but she, like, loved everything that I got her, and she still tells me about that, like, every day. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you, but, um, yeah, really, I'm staring at Walmart right now. I'm gonna show you guys do a little montage of the things I'm gonna get her, and, uh, I'll show you when her basket is all done. These cards are from TJ Maxx and they're like really beautiful butterfly foil cards. And then this is her big little reveal shirt and we said please wear this tomorrow. And it's like the little dipper. I'll insert pictures obviously in like reveal. And I got her this Howl Light um, keychain which actually I have the matching one in Rose Quartz. And then my little Sydney which is her twin has it in Amethyst. So I thought it was something cute that we could like have together. I don't know. And then I got her this cool moon delta zeta shirt from the zeta beta or not zeta beta sorry the delta zeta national t-shirt exchange facebook page and then this is another delta zeta shirt that i got over the summer that's like cropped and stuff and it says florida on it and i feel like that she'll really like this one because it feels like her style to me and i painted this canvas which is from inspo from pinterest and i use a paint pen and i got all these canvases at the dollar store so you can really do things on a budget you guys then i have a hair mask that i got today because i felt like this basket wasn't complete so i got some more stuff so i got her hair mask and two bath bombs so she loves lavender scented stuff so i got her lavender one and an ocean one and i got her two spaced theme bath bombs for tomorrow and then I got her these letters, which are actually from Walmart. And then I painted them like a dusty rose, which is one of her favorite colors, and then put glitter on them, which I mod podged the heck out of this glitter. So it's like smooth to the touch. <laughs> so the glitter's not going anywhere. And then these lights are from the dollar store, actually, from their floral section. And they're battery operated. And these are like awesome. So I have these like wrapped around my bed frame and I think these kind of go with her theme so I'm excited. And then I got her a matching scarf and beanie that say Delta Zeta on them and this is actually from my friend Maggie that was my roommate last year and she was a Delta Zeta. And then I have some pencils from the dollar store and this notebook with stars on it from Five Below and then I painted this canvas that says my little lights up my world so it's kind of rough but i feel like it's okay <laughs> so the only thing i might fix is how the dz letters are laid out because i kind of want them to be like separated so they're not overlapping but yeah and then i added as like a little touch which is really extra but i put some of the sparkle star confetti in the bottom of the basket you can't really tell it's there but she there so yeah, I'm really excited. I'll probably fidget with this basket when I get it to the location that they're going to be opening these, but I'm really excited and I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, I just ended saying I'm really excited, but I am. And I am probably going to fidget with this when I get it to the location, but I'm going to meet up with you guys when it is revealed, which is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's revealed tomorrow. So one thing to know is I did want to film this video with my other little Sydney so so bad but I felt so overwhelmed because we only had like a week and a half to get everything together maybe two weeks it wasn't really long that we had time to get everything together that I just felt like adding a video on top of everything that I needed to get done was not going to be the best thing for me so um especially since she was my first little I'm so sorry so now that i have like a little bit more time i was like okay i can film it and i'm so glad i get to film it because then i can look back on these videos and be like yes so 
Okay, sorry for the bad lighting and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>